In this video, we'll be looking at a trick to remember the charges of ions. There are two types of ions. Ions that have a positive charge are known as cations, whereas ions that have a negative charge are known as anions. For both cations and anions, we can further classify them based on how many atoms form an ion. If we have a single atom forming an ion, such as sodium ion, Na+, or potassium ion, or chloride ion, these ions are known as monoatomic ions because they are formed from a single atom. Mono means one, monoatomic means from a single atom. And then we have the polyatomic ions. Polyatomic ions are ions that are made from more than one atom, such as nitrate and ammonium ions. These are polyatomic. They are made from many. Poly is many, many atoms. When it comes to monoatomic ions, there is a very simple trick to remember the charges. And all we have to do is to refer to the periodic table. Remember that the position of elements in the periodic table depends on two things. That is, the number of valence electrons which determines its group number and the number of shells which determines its period. When determining the charges of monoatomic anions, we are going to make use of the group. Let's take a look at group 1 elements. In group 1, we have lithium, sodium, potassium. These are the common ions that are formed from group 1 elements. Group 1 elements have one valence electron. Let's take a look at the electron arrangement of these elements. Lithium has three protons and therefore three electrons, so it has an electron arrangement of 2, 1. And therefore, this electron right here, the valence electron, in order to achieve a stable duplex electron arrangement, this electron has to be donated. So this will be given away. And so, since one electron is given away, this ion will form a 1 plus charge. And this is the same with sodium and potassium as well. Sodium is 281, potassium is 2881. All these elements have one valence electron that needs to be given away in order to form an ion. And so group 1 elements will form one plus charge. And so lithium ion will be Li plus one plus, Na plus, and potassium plus minus the valence electron. We can apply the same principle to group 2 elements as well. And so magnesium and calcium, they are in group 2, which means they have two valence electrons. And so they will form Mg2 plus and calcium 2 plus ions. And then we go to the middle section. These are the transition elements. The transition elements do not have the same rule applied to them because they can form ions with multiple charges. And so we're going to skip them. And then we go on to group 17. Group 17 is also known as group Roman numeral 7. In this group, we have seven valence electrons. When we have seven valence electrons, these elements will need one more. They will need to gain one more in order to form a stable electron arrangement. Therefore, one electron is going to be added, plus one electron. Therefore, their charges will be one minus. So for example, fluorine. Fluorine has nine electrons. That's an electron arrangement of two, seven. So fluorine is going to accept one electron. One electron is going to be given to fluorine in order for it to achieve a stable octet electron arrangement. And the charge here, since it accepted one electron, is one minus. So fluorine will be F minus. The same goes for the other elements in the group as well. So chlorine is one minus, bromine is one minus, and iodine will form a one minus ion as well. This can also be applied to oxygen. Oxygen is in group 16 or Roman numeral 6. So oxygen requires two. Let's look at this electron arrangement. Oxygen has an electron arrangement of two, six, which means it needs to gain two electrons in order to form a stable octet. 
that arrangement. This would mean that oxygen will form a 2 minus ion because it's going to receive two electrons. Whenever electrons are received, a negative charge is achieved because there is an excess of electrons. Whenever electrons are lost, a positive charge is achieved because there is an excess of protons compared to electrons. This is the trick to monoatomic ions. What about polyatomic ions? The most common polyatomic ions you'll probably come across is the ammonium ion, the nitrate ion, and then we have the carbonate ion as well as the sulfate ion. For these common polyatomic ions, you can see that the ions that begin with the letter N here have a magnitude of 1. Their charges have a magnitude of 1. So ammonium is 1 plus and nitrate is 1 minus. And the other common polyatomic anions both have a 2 minus charge. There is one more less common ion that you would encounter and that is the phosphate ion that is PO4 and this one has a charge of 3 minus. For those of you who have already learned your organic chemistry, when you come across ions formed from fatty acids such as the ethanoate ion from ethanoic acid CH3COO, the charge will always be 1 minus. If you think this video has been helpful, please do me a favor and hit that like button guys. Thank you very much for doing that. If you enjoy videos like this, do subscribe because I'll be producing at least one a week. I wish all who are celebrating a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.